For those of you who are taking a class with me, we'll be using Notion. And because most of the pages uh, that, uh, are, that relate to the class are made public, uh, anyone will be able to view the pages and will be able to make comments. But there will be a few cases where, for example, if you're creating an essay where you're asked to create something in, um, in Notion, you're going, to be, you're going to have access to your own particular page and you'll have more options as to what you can create. So let me show you by an example. Those of you who are taking uh, this particular writing course where you're going to be developing an essay, each one of you will have your own dedicated page that you're, you'll be able to actually create content on the page. And so th this is going to, these are going to be permissions that uh, the general public will not have access to. So when you go into your own designated page, the first thing I would ask that you do is to add a, an icon here. So you can add an icon of your choice, and you can select from a variety of different icons here. A little slow here. So you can scroll down here and choose any of these icons. And I would also ask that you go ahead and add a cover. Again, you can choose your, your own uh, cover as you wish to change it'll it'll give you some default image but you can go in and change the cover and uh, you have a gallery here scroll down and choose any of these you can upload an image you can link and you can access certain images uh, using the unsplash website the last thing i would ask that you do is to add the discussion here so that we can uh, converse back and forth we can leave comments back and forth as I will also have access to your page. You can ask general questions here and we can uh, correspond as needed. Now down below, to begin, simply click below all those options. Okay, so I would suggest not selecting uh, any of those options. Let me show you another example. Okay, so we'll do one more example here. First thing, add an icon. Again, you can go back and change any of these. Add a cover. Okay, let's say I want some sort of gradient. And also go back and, and reposition this. If I don't like the exact color scheme, click and drag and move, move it up and down. And then add a discussion. Okay, so adding a discussion, again, will just enable us to leave each other comments, general comments to your text. Now, all of these options down here, I would suggest not selecting. Okay, so don't select uh, any of these. I guess you could select empty, but I think for the sake of simplicity, I would just select, click anywhere on the screen below all of those options, and then it will give you just a, an empty page here. Okay, so these are the steps I would follow if you are um, creating, if you're actually going to have your own sub uh, Notion page that you're going to be uh, using. And for those of you who are going to be writing essays, uh, this is what we're going to be working with. And uh, this is how I would generally start. If there are exceptions, of course, we'll, we'll talk about those in class. If there are any exceptions about creating a, a particular Notion page for a particular purpose that will deviate from what I'm talking about here. But for the most part, this will, uh, I, this will be a good way for us to, to get started. If you do have any questions, feel free to email me, ask me in class, or come by my office. If you have any issues whatsoever, getting started with Notion.